Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Blackwell Epiphany. All right, let's release Kendra. Kendra, I'm going to have to ask you to trust us, okay? You don't have to ask. I already do. Ah, oh, cool. Fair enough. Come over here. Makes things easier. Just take a hold of this. Okay. Eh, she still didn't fall down. Very impressive, Rosa. The music, it's amazing. Music? It's everywhere. Can't you hear it? Not exactly. Like every instrument ever made is a part of it. Do you think... So, that seems like it would be cacophonous. Do you think they need a piano player? I don't see why they wouldn't. I'm gonna need to practice. But somehow, I think I'll have plenty of time. I guess... Yeah, an eternity. Come with me? I'm sorry. This is a trip you have to take alone. Tell them I'll miss them. Okay? Of course. Ugh. Still standing, at least. Yeah, bright side. Woohoo! She was so... easygoing. Something about kids, I guess. Their Water minds off ducks are more back. adaptable. Flexible to new ideas. Even death. Do you really believe that? Do we have any other choice? Come on, we're not done yet. All right, Leah, we're coming for you. And Emil's, uh, the Exeter house is now gone. All right, let's head back to Leah Piero. Go ahead and continue to get our fingerprints all over crime scenes. All right, come Joey, along, Joey. Get in here. Uh huh. It looks totally ordinary. It looks totally ordinary. Let's see if you can get in. Ow! What the huh. hell was that? Oh no! Apparently, he can't. Leah. Are you there? Oh, it's you, Bestower. It is indeed. Kendra is safe. Kendra is safe, Leah. You mean she's... She's moved on. She said goodbye to her father, and she said... She said she'll miss you. How could something that was so right go so horribly wrong? I went to a few meetings, and then I knew I had to join the police academy. It was like a lightning bolt. Hmm. What kind of meeting? That's suspicious. We were all so lost, so hungry for direction and not knowing where to go. All of us searching for that elusive something, that revelation that would fix our lives. The meetings at Grace somehow gave them to us. Gave them to you? Yes. No matter how confused we were, we all found our way. But this... All Sounds this like some brainwashing. Leah, I need you to focus and tell me what happened. I loved being a cop. I loved being a mother. I did good, didn't I? I thought I did. Well, up until and killing you, Kendra. You do good. That's what I or heard. getting her you killed. You always help, right? I help the dead. That's what I'm counting on. What? What? No! What? Jesus! Alright, this game is just filled with crazies. Did... did it work? Yeah, why, you're dead. Why, why do this? I'm sorry, but it's the only way. My only escape is through you. I know what you did for Kendra. Now do the same for me. Please, please, before they come for me. Joey, what the hell do we do? What we always do, kid. What we always do. I don't know what to say right now. There's nothing to say right now. Leah, you need to tell us what's causing all of this. No, please. If they find me here, just take me somewhere safe. You can do that, right? Do that and we can talk. Okay. Leah, we need to talk about this. No, please. If they find me here, just take me somewhere safe. You can do that, right? Do that and we can talk. All right. I'm not blowing on her. Oh. That's ghoulish, even for me. <laughs> I have no words. 
I just don't have any words. That took guts. I'll give her that at least. <laughs> we can still look at the poster. All right. Well, um, I guess we uh, just release her. Okay, Leah. Here's how it works. That's Officer Piero to you, and I know how it works. How do you know Great, how it that works? That saves time. Red here is going to take you somewhere safe, and when she does, you're going to have a chat. Okay? Fine, fine. Let's just do this quick. You hear me? Don't let this one just fly off into the light. Don't worry. All right then. All right. Let's take her to a safe place, and then we can uh, interrogate her. It's so quiet here. That little room was quiet, but not like this. That's it's not like what I'm your daughter said. Everything and nothing at the same time. Can you hear it? No. Nope. But Kendra said something similar. I guess. Is she out there somewhere? Yes. But Leah, before you go, I need you to tell me how you got this way. What led you to this? We called it the Grace Group because we met at Grace Church. Okay. We met once a week. We would talk. It was nice. So it was kind of a self-help group? Kind of. Kind of? What did you talk about? Funny, I don't remember. All I know is that it worked. That's disturbing. It was like magic. We all learned what we were meant to be. I joined the police academy and never looked back. George discovered a love of art, made a killing as a dealer. George, he won't be out there, will he? He's gone. He risked himself and then he... Ugh! Oh. What was that? Oh, uh, no, Leah, get through the light, quick! Run! Run away! I, run away! Move. How do they find me? Oh, uh, crap. Places. She's paralyzed. No, just How do you paralyze going? a ghost? You were supposed to help us! It's not my fault. I'm trying, please, I just need time. <laughs> no! Not again. She had a splitting not headache. Again. Hey, you okay? No. No. No, I'm not okay. We were too late. Too late? She, she had the taken, worst headache like ever. Was. All she went through, she did it for nothing. I refuse to believe that. I just can't. Did she say anything, anything at all that could help us? There wasn't time. And there was something else. Something else? How did you get in here? What the? Leah? Uh, how um, did you get look, here? I can explain. Turn around. Hands behind your head. No, wait. Listen, I don't have time for this. I said turn around. Hands behind your head. I like how she, she adjusts floor. her glasses Please, while he's saying that. Now! You know, you're uh, in danger of police brutality here. Oh, hey. Sorry for Back the here. wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be out. What can I do for you? Hmm. Are you the owner of this establishment? My name's on the sign. Ah, so you are Malone. That's me. And you are? My name is Madeline. And your friend? <clears throat> Jocelyn Contis. Pleasure to meet you both. Hmm. I believe these were caused by a like most lost spirits, he seems unaware of his circumstances. Well, I guess we're uh, back here to, uh... Intermission period, uh... Backstory period. Nice looking fella. Dead Shame guy. Shame about him being dead and all. Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? The bullet holes. So, who shot up this place? Hey. Come on, this place looks like the set of a gangster flick. I don't know what you mean. The window. Uh, so... Did you see who smashed up your window? <laughs> what are you talking about? The window looks fine to me. Right. Of course it does. Totally agree with you. This place are you seriously does not telling look me that this place looks normal? Listen, everything here is top of the line. We're even looking into that dry cleaning stuff. What cleaning? Dry cleaning. It's... Look, never mind. Can I help you with anything or what? Um... You, you know, uh... Just don't use gasoline. It's more dangerous than dynamite. Rift well, Tracks proved it to see me. See you around. Sure. Malone. 
Hi there, what can I do you for? You mentioned an assistant. Where is he? Danny? I have no idea where he is. So we're Maybe a bit you fire him. staffed, but nothing I can't handle. We'll handle that costume of yours with extra care. Costume? That gown of yours looks very authentic. I don't even think you can get that fabric these days. <sighs> have I become antiquated so soon? <laughs> you, no you've been, all, meant, I, I you've been dead for centuries. A nice touch. Brings out your eyes. Well, I always thought so. But you are mistaken. We are not leaving my costume here with you. We have other business. I'm kind of curious what would happen if they took off their outfits. What happened here? What do you mean? This shop. It is, shall we say, it looks shot up. Shot up? Look, I know the cleaning lady hasn't been in this week, but it ain't that bad. Now, can I help you or what? Well, yeah, just the bullet holes. You should take a closer look at the walls and windows. They are definitely not what they should be. You sure talk funny, lady. <laughs> there isn't anything wrong with the windows that I can see. You are dead. Malone, I regret that it falls to me to tell you that you are dead. What? Get out of town. Now, can I help you or what? Madeline, or does what? that ever work? <sighs> no, no, it, it does, does not. not. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. I will return presently. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, well, we will see. My host? Yeah. About that window. What? We needed to get in, didn't we? Well, we're in. Well, fair I point. I suppose I cannot argue with the results. Indeed. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin' indeed. Any thoughts on this lost song? Seems nice enough. Any useful thoughts? He no. seems nice enough. Let's just get this done. Any thoughts? Seems nice. Any? No. I believe we should return to our duty, Mother. Yeah. Hey, Madeline? Yes, Madeline. Let's try and reverse the ghost. So what should we do about that guy? That guy, as you put it, needs our help. Yeah, I get it. The sooner we get rid of him, the sooner we can leave. Yes, but how do we... Well, see ya. Certainly, my host. Hmm. They're all from last season. No point. There's nothing my size. Jeez. What happened? I ain't putting my... It says to ring the bell if I... It's just a bell. Joey. Joey. Dinner's ready. Ah, it's not working. Oh, hey. Huh. You can actually look Some at this. Band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Uh, Danny Marconi, we know that now. Um, can't look at any more on that. Ugh, the stupid rain. I look horrible. A jacket from two seasons ago. I guess this place has been closed for a while. Some clothing items. So I suppose we had to look at this again. Hmm, so garish. It's not that bad. The Fabulous Marconis. Oh, extraneous apostrophe. In person, Danny Marconi and Linda Marconi. Well, can we talk to Joey again? Hello. Hi there, what can I do you for? I will return. Take your time. Hey. Miss Contis, <coughs> what can I help you with? Contis, huh? You into music? You into music? I saw that poster on the wall. Oh, that's Danny's thing. Danny. The guy who runs this place with me, him and his girl, Linda. They're in a band. If you can call it that. They play weekends sometimes. He wants to make really? it big, but, uh... But, but what? But nothing. Danny just needs to focus on earning an honest living, that's all. What, being a uh, uh, musician isn't honest, in your opinion? Where do they play? Do Danny and Linda have regular gigs? I don't know. Why? I might want to hear him play. Save your eardrums, lady. That's my advice. Ooh, harsh. Well, see you around. Sure. Hmm. Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? Huh. Danny is important to you. I could not help but overhear your conversation with my colleague. This Danny Marconi. He is important to you, is he not? What makes you think that? 
Your energy, your aura, if you will, it changes when you speak of him. So tell us, what is Danny to you? A good I friend. Have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, oh, come on. No, Talk about you your know feelings, precisely Joey. what I am talking about, and you will tell us. I. Uh, trust me, you want to do this, we will understand. You don't think we will understand? Rest assured, we will. The only thing I understand is that I want you both gone. Aw, that's not nice, Joey. I could leave, as you request. But I don't believe you want me to. Not really. Well, do you? I... Who the hell are you people? We are friends. Here to help. Nothing more. You are so close now. So close. Go into the light, Joey. Oh, hey. Why is everything so confusing? Because you're dead. It does not have to be. Life used to be so simple. Then Danny had to go follow a pipe dream. He had to make deals with club promoters. Club promoters he couldn't pay. So they showed up here. I mm. told Danny to stay away while I tried to talk some sense into them. And did you? Uh... No. He got away. That's what's important. At least, I think it is. I'm not so sure anymore. I understand you now. You are adrift. You are scared. But there is nothing to be scared of. Well, we now Come know here. how he died. My host? Yeah, sorry. I guess he got shot up by the mob. Huh. So that's how she does it. I don't know why I did it. Danny isn't much, really, but he's a good guy. You think it was worth it? I don't know. Sorry. You don't have anything to say? Anything at all? No. Not really. Right. So I just head that way. Yeah. Well, tell your friend thanks. And if you ever see Danny... <laughs> forget it. I suppose it doesn't matter. Bye, Joey. If he went into the light, how is he, uh... How is he now, uh, uh, a spirit My guide? Host. My host, are you alright? You can come I in here. I knew you'd follow me in here. You can never give me a minute's peace. You should uh, not stay here too long. Or what? I'll die. I get it now. We all thought my uncle was nuts, but he was just... numb. He just stopped caring. About anything. Who could blame him? What's his fault? Trust me, my host. It is best to push those feelings aside. Why? It is what must be done. That is all. What does it matter? Listen to me. In time, you will feel differently. Differently? Yes. This will all feel... normal. Yeah, just drink enough coffee normal. and it'll... I don't want get used this to, the to taste. be normal. Many of your predecessors felt the same. In time, things changed. I'm going dancing, Madeline. Don't wait up. What? Um. Oh. She could do I that? See. I suppose after all this time it was inevitable that one of you deciphered the method. But do you think it will be that simple? It will not work. Do you hear me? It will destroy you. My host... Jocelyn Contest! Hear me! Contest! Contest! That definitely explains how she managed to break the, uh, um, connection with Madeline. 23 a.m., Detective Corey Palmer conducting interview with Rosangela Blackwell. Detective Sam Durkin also present. So, Miss Blackwell, tell us again why you were in that house. Say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep your teeth together. We'll get out of this. Ooh. Hmm. Say any of those, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and say nothing. Answer the question, Blackwell. <sighs> Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. That's your right, but your silence can and will be used against you. Although, Remember technically, that. she... Yeah, th Five. it can. Next question. Technically, she should what probably be invoking the Fifth Detective Amendment. Piero? Where's the Fifth Amendment option? Say nothing. Miss Blackwell, I won't ask again. What happened to Detective Piero? Enough, Palmer. 
You saw the paraffin test. Leah fired that weapon. I refuse to believe that, Sam. Believe what you want. Those are the facts. Well, here's some facts for you. Should this lady was chatting with Emil Haskins earlier this evening. Yeah, Not only so. that, we have a witness who saw her sneaking into his office. I had the code. How do you respond to that? Remain silent. No answer, huh? Well, let me lay it out for you. We spoke to the clerk on duty. We spoke to Emil Haskins, a man who is now a widower, I might add. Is that Nobody the right term? Gave you permission. But then, he was divorced. And entering isn't really a new thing for you, is it? Of Not really. File. Do you even know how many restraining orders you have against you? Uh, five or six? I've lost count. You tell me. Uh, yeah, five or six. Um, five? Maybe six? If only. <laughs> if getting banned from the campuses of NYU and Columbia weren't bad enough, we've got a dozen complaints registered against you from businesses and families. I'd call Belgium uh, if you take just... it away. But you're banned from there, too. Who? Who the hell are you? And why haven't you been taken in before now? Because Call I'm awesome. Sam? You're tired. Go get a cup of coffee. I don't need coffee. Yeah, you do. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I've heard the rumors. That you've got some mysterious informant. Is this her? Palmer? Fine. I'm going. But we will find out what happened. It's our damn job, after all. Yes, but you'll only find out with my help. <laughs> so, you happy now? Very. Um... Of course not. Of course not. I only wanted to... What? Help? Yes. You think you helped anyone here? Yeah, actually. There's something much bigger There's going something on. something much bigger going on. So you said. But we cops, we like things simple. Well, that's you, though. your problem, You make then. things complicated just by walking into a room. Isn't it awesome? Say. Officially, we're pursuing every lead. Including me. Unofficially, there was no trace of the bullet that killed the little girl. With Leah dead, we'll most likely never solve it. The trail is too cold. Hmm. So, what do you need? Um, excuse me? You want it in so bad? You're in. Sweet! You Woohoo! We, books. we can't even pay you. This case is too high profile. Damn it! So... What do you need? Well, uh, access to Leah's case files. Access to Leah's case files. Can't do it. Those are being boxed up and archived. Anything else? Damn it. Access to George Austin's apartment. Access to George Austin's apartment. I'll take care of it. Excellent. Anything else? Yes. Uh, everything you know about George Austin. Everything you know about George Austin. Palmer can get you that. Speak to him tomorrow. Woohoo! Anything else? Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Yeah, the grin. I'll let Palma get you one on the way out. Sweet. Anything else? Nothing, Nothing I can think of. Nothing that I can think of. All right. From now on, you talk to Palma. He'll be at the front desk tomorrow. Detective Thank you. Durkin, Sam, why are you doing this? Why me? Well, my first case involved a kid. Thirty years ago, it must have been. Oh, really? There was this little girl living with her aunt. The aunt went nuts, uh, smashing things, screaming. Uh, Total loony. The little girl was hiding in a closet. Couldn't have been more than five. He's you don't happen to remember the name, do you? I've had a soft you? spot for kids ever since. I see. Go home, Blackwell. Get some sleep. You look like you spent the night in jail. Well, I'll be. Everything is connected in these games. Hey, and we're huh. teleport home. The press are having a field day. Lots of theories, but nothing approaching the truth. You expect anything different? Just be glad nope. your name didn't get leaked. That's the last thing we need. Fair point. No trace of the Grace Group either. Then we best get out there and do what we do. All right, notes updated. Grace Group. All right, let's go ahead and uh, save the game. And in the next one, we will see if we can uh, follow up on uh, the Grace Group and find out more information about uh, George by visiting his apartment. See you then, everyone.